Welcome to another video tutorial. In this one we'll be going through how we can connect an Azure Blob storage account to ArcGIS Pro. So by creating that connection it means we can grab data that we have stored in our Azure account, bring it into our map, and it also means that whenever our data changes in Azure it's also going to change in our map a few minutes later. So we're looking at basically the most up-to-date data from us from our cloud storage. So to set up a connection from ArcGIS, which I have open in the background here, to my Azure account, I'm just going to go to Insert and Connections. And here, go to Cloud Store and go New Cloud Storage Connection. And that's going to open up this dialog box. And once we fill this out, um, we have our connection set up, and that's actually going to be stored as a file on our computer that we can use again. So the first thing to fill out is the name of that file. So give it a name that makes sense. I'll just call my one Azure Connection. And the next one is a cloud service provider, which for us is Azure, but you can see ArcGIS Pro has a few different cloud storage service providers that you can use. And um, the next two come from our Azure account credentials. So access key and secret access key. I'm going to have to go to my Azure account web page, which I actually have open here. And to get what I need, you can see on the left hand pane, I've come to access keys and it's opened up this, this information here. So the first one I need is my storage account name. That will be blurred for you. Let me just copy that and paste it in there. And the next one, the secret access key, comes from, um, we can use either key one or key two. I've shown key one, and just in this key box here, oops, um, I'm going to copy that key. After I paste that in there, um, ArcGIS has all the information it needs to connect to my Azure account. So you can see it's trying to do that. The hourglass has popped up next to the mouse, and once it has created that connection, I'll be able to click this drop down menu here, and it should show me all the containers that I have in my Azure Blob storage account. So the hourglass disappeared, click that, and you can see I've got two containers, which is called container 1 and container 2. Container 2 has the data that I want to add to my map, so I'll click that. And then that's all the information I need, I can click OK. And then you might have just seen this Azure connection.acs file has popped up in my cloud stores folder. So this pane on the right is the catalog pane. If you haven't got that showing already, you can go up to view and catalog pane here. We'll show the catalog pane. So any cloud connection will appear in your cloud stores folder, and then I can open that and that will show me everything that's in my container2 container um, in my Azure account. So I have one file in there called HydroMap, and this symbol to the left of it means it's a raster. If we're trying to grab data from a cloud storage account through ArcGIS Pro, we can either grab rasters or table data. They're the two types of data that are supported. And so if I want to bring my raster into my map, it's just as simple as clicking and dragging it in. And then will give me the options that I want to use to build my raster. I'm just going to stay with the default ones. Click OK. And then it's popped up in my catalog here. And in a second, it should appear completely. Maybe I'll just zoom in so you can see what it is. It's a hydrographic map of Wellington Harbour. So that's good. We've grabbed data that we already had stored in our Azure account, and now it's showing in our map. And the next thing we can do is test that connection. What happens if we update that file in Azure? Will it also update in our map? So let me go to my container and containers. Container 2 is the one that I wanted, and here's my file, hydromap1.tiff. If I upload a new file for the cook straight, 
also called hydromat1.tef and overwrite that file. Now it's overwritten. Come back to my GIS, GIS map and that eventually will overwrite but depending on the, the size of the file that will take a few minutes. So I'll just skip the video ahead a few minutes. Alright, I gave a few minutes and then what I did was right click on my connection, click refresh and then come down to my map, click refresh here and you can see it has updated my Wellington Harbour map to be a hydrographic map for the whole of the Cook Strait. So I hope that helps you with creating your connection between ArcGIS and Azure Blob Storage. Any questions, don't hesitate to add them to the comments. Thank you for watching.